What's up everybody, this is Jack from Crypto 49er bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. So today I want to talk about Edge Secure. Is it the best crypto wallet there is? But before I do, I want to remind you guys that I give away $5 in Steam for this week or $10 of Litecoin on Crypto Bridge. In order to win, you have to answer the trivia question that I asked on Wednesday. And only answer to my Steam and post of Wednesday's video will be accepted for the giveaway. You have till Friday morning roughly to answer that trivia question for a chance to win. Good luck everybody. Alright, on to today's topic. Edge Secure, the best crypto wallet? Well, let me go over what it is first. What is Edge Secure? Edge Secure is a mobile wallet designed with security, privacy, and ease of use in mind. They were formerly known as Airbits and rebranded to Edge Secure in 2017. The idea behind the new name is they think of everything including the Edge cases when it comes to security. So how is it more secure? It offers a one-touch, two-factor authentication. So instead of me trying to explain that to you, I will let the CEO of Edge Secure, Paul Puri, explain it. He explained it in a recent interview on Amanda B. Johnson's channel, and I will have a link to the full interview down below, but you can just hear what he said about the one-step, two-factor authentication right here. Now, when we talked about two-factor and we mentioned, oh, what are the good solutions for two-factor, which ones aren't? Obviously, if they're tied to SMS and email, they can be compromised. But I mentioned how Google Authenticator is a Google Authenticator's protocol itself. And we baked it into the app. It's like you have both apps sitting side by side. And then we just mashed the two together. We married the two into one app. So that inconvenience of, of launching Google Authenticator when you want to log in and scrolling through like 30 or 50 website names, finding which one you want, then you know, tapping and holding to copy and paste that six digits, making sure you do that before the digits change because they change every 30 seconds, and then paste, going back into your app and pasting it. That whole process is automated and invisible to the user completely. So that's pretty much it. They basically put in Google Authenticator inside Edge Secure so that you don't have to copy that six digit code back and forth. That is just an Awesome idea. I really wish more wallet apps did that so I wouldn't have to do this. So the next thing is, how is it more private? So Edge Secure doesn't ask for your name, email, or phone number, or any other personal information during the setup process. And how is it easier to use? Your private key is secured by your username and password, which anyone who uses a computer is familiar with. There's no need to write down 12 or 24 word passphrase that you end up storing in Google Drive or some other location that can be easily compromised or lost. So if you roll it on paper, it could easily lose it. So let me show you guys how it works on iOS. So as soon as you download the app, it asks you to create an account. They'll explain to you, the, the font's really small. They'll say, let's get started creating your account. So they'll tell you the process. Basically, you have to choose a username and password. So go ahead, you have to first choose a username. I mean, I would suggest don't use something that can be identified as used. I wouldn't use Crypto 49er or my first name or any sort of combination there is in there so that it can't be identified to you. That's the whole point of having additional privacy. So once you pick the username, you have to go type in your password and confirm the password, just like any other site you have to set up for. What's interesting is that they'll tell you what the requirements once you start typing in the password. Not only they'll tell you that what the requirements are, as you type in the password, they'll show you how long it takes to crack your password based on how many characters, what type of characters you have used. So by typing one character, it's going to take one second to crack it. And if you type in six characters at this point, it takes 23 hours. What's interesting is that if you type in a dictionary word, something that's often used in the passwords, they'll show you that on the time here, that the number of hours to crack your password decreases significantly if you use any dictionary words. So it's very interesting that they actually do that and show you that. So once you type in a, a long enough password, in my case, a 10 character password, following all their rules would take approximately 31 years to crack, which I think is pretty safe. So after that, then you have to type in your PIN because you want a quick way of accessing your app without actually typing your password every single time. After you've done that, it'll go ahead and create your accounts. So here's where you do have to remember your username and password. But unlike any other cryptocurrency wallet, they don't need you to write down a 12 or 24 word passphrase because those things to someone really new to cryptocurrency, they don't really know what it's for. They don't know where you put that back in, why you put that back in, but if you tell them to write down username and password, they know why you need to put those things in because that's pretty much how you access any sort of service on a computer. So once you get to the main screen, they need you to allow Edge to send notifications. And that's very important, I'll explain why. So once you do that, then you'll see the main screen. And if you click on the help button right here, it'll just show you 
the basic information like how to contact the support team, so on and so forth. And you try to click on the send button, they'll want to access your contacts and they'll tell you specifically that they're not going to steal your contact information, but all they're really using is they want to have the names of your contacts, be able to link that to the, trans to the transactions that you complete on Edge so that you know who you send your money to or who you received it from. So once you click on send, it'll open up the camera. You can scan a QR code of any addresses that you want to send to. Or if you want to type in the address, you can just type in the address button. If you copy and paste an address, it'll automatically show up at the bottom right here. And you can just click on paste and it'll automatically paste the address in for you. So a lot of these little things that make it really nice to use. It'll bring you the send confirmation, letting you know who you're sending it to, the amount you're sending, so on and so forth the price of BTC right now, which is very important because BTC fluctuates so much. If you click on the three dots over here on the above, you have a couple options. Change mining fee, send max amount, and help. So change mining fee is something that is super important when Bitcoin transaction prices were super expensive last year. Right now it's not so important because Bitcoin transaction fee is about like $2, so it's not that much, you know. I mean, obviously it still costs more than a coffee, but at least you're not paying $20, $30 like we were four or five months ago. So anyway, if you click on the change mining fee, they'll give you the option to set a high, standard, or low, or set your custom mining fee. And that's the best one. So if you know exactly how much mining fee to set, you can do that. But if you don't know or you're new to this, you don't have to touch, you don't have to look at it. It's not even in front of you, unless you actually click on this particular area. It's one of those things where they make it super easy, but they also don't handcuff you and say, no, you can't do this, or they don't treat you like a baby. And I love that. So going back to the main menu, if you click on the hamburger icon, it'll bring up the menu. Right now, the menu right here is pretty empty. What they plan to do is add the ability for you to buy and sell Bitcoin directly from the app. That's going to be very interesting, but right now, they don't have that yet. In the meantime, all they do is show you your account name over here, and you click on the settings over here. And in the settings, you can change your password, change your PIN, and set up two-factor and password recovery. And the 2FA is really, as the CEO said, just tap on enable 2FA and you're done. It's so simple. And the idea is, once you enable 2FA, you can only access your wallet from this particular phone that you have set up on. So you can't access anywhere else. What you can do is, put in this authentication code into other devices and be able to access Edge on other devices. And if you want to disable 2FA, it takes seven days. So let's say that even if someone tried to hack your account, let's say they know your username and password, but you enable 2FA, if they try to hack your account, what they have to do is they have to disable 2FA. And when they do that, you will get a notification from Edge on your wallet saying that, do you want to disable 2FA? And now you know that someone's trying to access your account and you can just say no to it. But that's something that's really awesome about that. and that's really the reason why you do need to enable notification on Edge. So the other thing is the password recovery. You just select two different questions to enable password recovery. So after you do that, they do need an email address to enable the password recovery process. But in my case, my iOS device is not set up with email. That's a separate story, but they can't use password recovery if your iPhone isn't set up with an email client. But again, the password recovery is optional. If you feel like you have written down your username and password, you don't really, you don't really need the password recovery. So let me just go over one other thing. So first of all, they do support Touch ID. I don't even have to type in the PIN. The one thing I want to go over with you guys is that if you want to export your private key out from your Edge wallet, you can do that. So they have the option right here, and they'll show your master private key. So let's go over some of the positives for Edge Secure. First of all, it's very easy to get very easy to get started. Secondly, it has all the advanced features you need if you want to use them. Unlike some other wallets that treat you like a baby and doesn't let you choose your custom mining fees or other advanced features like adding any ERC20 token, they're all there, but you don't have to use any of them. And they have the built-in exchange using Shapeshift, just like a lot of the other wallets out there. The One Touch 2FA is unique and I really like that. It doesn't require Authy or Google Authenticator something that I really wish other wallets would implement. And I didn't even go over the Edge login. Let me show you that really quickly. So there are several sites that support Edge logins. Again, as I mentioned, Edge used to be called Airbits. And what it is is something like OpenLedger, which is a decentralized exchange, they support Airbits. So all you have to do is just type in a PIN number, your, type in your PIN number that you use for Airbits. And what it is, is it'll then pop up a QR code for you to scan using your S-Secure wallet. It's freaking amazing. I'm almost at a loss for words on how they can enable 2FA for like a decentralized exchange like OpenLedger. The only problem I see is that I don't think you can do this with existing accounts. I have to look into this a little bit more. 
So I wish you can. So far, I think you can only deal with new accounts on Open Ledger. So those are the positives for Edge Secure. Let's cover some of the negatives. So the fonts are really small for the startup uh, screen, like the startup section even. It might be an issue for some people. And it's slow on older phones. I have an iPhone 6 Plus, it's relatively old at this point, and it's slow. And it drains the battery power very quickly. I was seeing my battery percentage going from like 60, 50, 40, 30, fairly, very quickly. I'm not sure why that was the case. The third thing is the password recovery needs mail account set up. Again, that's not something that affects everybody. And the last thing is it only supports only five blockchains. So even though it supports every ERC20 token, but five blockchains are relatively limited, I still have to say, compared to some other wallets out there. So the bottom line is this. Edge Secure is an awesome mobile wallet that offers better security than any other mobile wallet while removing the concept of private key and 24-word passphrase for those new to cryptocurrency. The fact that they don't need any personal information from you is a bonus. And that's my video for today. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below on your favorite mobile wallet. I definitely want to hear about it. Smash the like button for me. Smash the subscribe button for me. I truly appreciate it. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining. It isn't worth speculating. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.